Okay, so here's another Glen Camp view. You've got another table back there with a barbecue. No fire ring at this site, looks like. Then you've got all this extra room for tents. I mean, this is like Tent City over here. So if you're willing to share with other backpackers, campers, you know, you might not get the table because somebody might want to sprawl there, but if you ask nicely, maybe you could use their barbecue pit. But yeah, I mean, look at all this extra overflow room. Tall grass, overgrown, sun's coming through. Here was where we camped last night. You got the fire pit, you got the barbecue pit, my hammocks back there, you got tents, people biked up here, the whole bike packing thing. Then you got the other hammock over there. That was George's. But yeah, we had two hammocks and how many? One, two, three, four tents. Is that right? Six of us? Could have sworn there was one more of us. One, two, tent. Three tent more. Four tent. Right? And then... I could have sworn there was one more of us. There's six of us. I think there's six of us total. That's right. Okay, and then you got and then you had the two hammocks. But there you go. That's Glen Campground. Quick view. 360 bathrooms over there. There's a vault toilet. Do bring some like hand sanitizer stuff. Like these wet wipes. Like that kind of vibe. Just so you can sanitize your hands. Aloe, whatever alcohol based. I don't know, whatever you're not allergic to. It's basically how that works. But yeah, let me just do a little walk and talk here. There were some kids, I think they were camping here yesterday. They were barbecuing. They were pretty good. They left a little bit of trash. I'll probably get that on the way out. But there's this trail. It's a dirt trail, at least for this part. The creek's back over there. But here was their barbecue pit. I think they made like some chicken or something. I don't know what they made. Uh, but you got this. And then this trail goes straight to the bathroom, to the vault back there. So you got that. But yeah, there's just a quick little video. Lots of fallen leaves. There's a quick little video of Glen Campground. It's not as big as you think in the videos, but I'd say from the to from the toilet to there is maybe 50 yards. So yeah, that's pretty that's pretty big. But a lot of this is just open area. So that that's probably dirt during the late spring, summer months, maybe even early fall. And then you got all these little plants over here and stuff. But yeah, the tables, see every table's different. It's weird. This is probably one of the more original tables, I guess. Our table was like a little more modern, I suppose. But this particular campsite, and then you've got the handicap stuff going on too. So like, if you needed to fit a wheelchair here, you could, you know, that kind of vibe. So you got that going on. I will get that trash on the way out. And then you've got all these trees, gnarled trees and stuff. But yeah, the, the path to get to the vault toilet, this is dirt and then eventually it turns into concrete. But pretty, pretty area up here. I think it's worth the six mile hike. Okay, so here's the other campsite. Let's take a look at this one. So this is what I'm calling campsite number four. Right, you have the one above us. I'll show you that in a second. So you got these long tables. Good for group campouts, I guess. See, there's... I think this is where the kids were yesterday. Yeah, there you go, there you go. That's where the guys were yesterday. And some stuff in there. But yeah, here's another one of these long tables, right? So you got wheelchair stuff going on if you needed that. Right, there you go. So... We just came from, let's say, one. This will be two. Ours was three. And then tucked up back there on the hillside, there's number four. So that's four picnic table, barbecue setups. And then the one that we were at had the fire ring. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if that's the only one that has a fire ring. Let's see. Okay, so that's four campsites. Let's go over here. This will be number five. Take a little tour. Right? Okay, so this would be campsite five. This is the one that's closest to the bathroom. 
And same kind of setup, right? You got the long table, you got the barbecue pit. So if you're if you're doing the day hike thing, if you're coming up here just to day hike, there are two bear proof trash cans. Try to use them. I walked into the bathroom yesterday, it was a trash bag full of trash in the bathroom. Like, what a way to start your morning when you open the door and there's a bear in there doing the trash on the damn toilet. All they had to do was bring it to the trash can, like knuckleheads. So I took the trash out of the bathroom and I put it into the bear proof trash cans. So at least the rangers can come and get it and clear it out. But anyways, here's this, here's this site. This one's on a concrete slab, it looks like, that was overrun with dirt. But that's something to think about. Same thing, you got your wheelchair access. There's your barbecue pit. There are two parking spaces. Where were they? I think there's two parking spaces, like right there, actually, for handicapped people to park. You need to get special permission from whatever that whatever agency that is at the bottom of the hill here off of Zuzu Canyon Highway 39. It's either the U.S. Forest Service or it's the San Gabriel National Monument. One or the other maybe a, another agency but yeah and then this barbecue pit if we take a look so you got dirt all this dirt washed in here but yeah see it looks like looks like somebody had some peanuts like day hikers backpackers that kind of vibe it would have been nice if they would have burned the shells but because the shells attract the small animals the small animals attract the big animals <laughs> Small animals also attract the snakes, which is what you don't want. But yeah, and then there's your vault toilet. There's two toilets. They're both pretty well maintained. You saw that in my other video. If you've been following along with all these, there's the mountains. That's east. It's about 7.30 in the morning now. And then the sun goes whoop overhead and sets like above there somewhere that's west. So that would be north. Wait, that would be south. And north is this way, right? North, east, south, and west. No. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Yeah, wait. Sorry. Confused. It's a little too early in the morning. If that's east, that would be south. <laughs> that would be west. And that would be north. So there you go. We got another bathroom we're coming in. <laughs> So there you go. Anyways, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, catch you on the next video.